Hello, I'm Bobby Briggs with Peak Trailer Group, reviewing the recent truck body that we just fabricated and built custom to a customer's request. Uh, this particular body is, again, manufactured in our truck equipment department in Dallas or San Antonio. Customer asked for full downside 26 foot stationary flatbed with swing barn doors. Also, he wanted the lift, lift gate, which we installed on the rear here as well. You can see our barn, barn door set up and the side. He wanted custom with square tubing and expanded metal uh, fold down versus your standard drop in sides and your standard uh, state pocket panel. He also wanted taller uh, sides. These are 40 inches, which is uh, four inches higher than any other make out there in truck body. Uh, we were able to get our hinge height up here on the side rail to allow us to still have adequate clearance when these are folded down. Also requested your winch track, sliding winches before and after, you know, your axle, which we did as well at peak. When you look at this design, you still have your state pockets. However, your hinges are recessed, so if you do make impact with that rail, say with the forklift, you've got protection from your hinges. Again, I'll pull you out the clearance. Obviously, this is an unloaded body right now. You do have adequate clearance, clearance and still able to meet the customer stack. The floor itself is 316 tread, 316 inch thick tread. If you were to look under, you will find uh, four inch cross members. They're on 12 inch centers and they're over an eight inch rail. In addition, I point out your brackets on our installs, there's four per side. That's more so than what most do but that is welded to uh, the top of the body frame and bolted in to the, the frame rail of the truck itself. That, in addition to the U-bolts, makes for a secure install. You also notice the gussets on every other cross member. So that's every two feet, you've got gussets going from your rail to your cross member for additional support and a long life. Now this one is gonna be hauling pipe among other materials. The customer requested pipe pockets throughout the middle. So he'll utilize that for uh, load securement. He also requested um, pipe pockets on the very end, front and back, in case they forget, as I did here, to uh, fold down a side so that they don't you know, get into their sides. If they were to pull some longer pieces of pipe, they're not gonna hit their sides. They'll be stopped with these door stops and these pipe pockets. Okay. Uh, the headboard, we have a variety of headboards that we offer. Um, this one, they wanted no ears and just a square design with expanded metal for the entire top half. We can do it with just the window in the middle. Um, that's 10 gauge steel, by the way, on the front. Um, and just, we can do it at angles. It's really, we can build it however you want it here at Peak. Okay. The toolboxes is also something you wanted. So we installed that. We have a variety of mounts uh, that you can utilize there. And on the rear, we have a variety of uh, options for the rear. This one, he wanted lift gates. We've also done them with Moffitt kits, Princeton kits. Um, it's just, again, whatever the customer requests. This one's a stationary flatbed. However, we have done a 110 ton scissor lift, dumpable uh, flatbed. Um, that one had a little bit different uh, setup as far as the uh, headboard. But again, it's just building it however the customer wants it. So if you're interested in getting a quote from us, please give me a call at 214-675-0035. One last thing is the LEDs and all the conspicuous tape. That's all DOT approved location. And we do keep the LEDs inside the side rail to offer protection versus a low mount that's going to get knocked off. So. That's a review of this truck bed. We hope you call us soon.